Hello again YouTube, this is Pure2306 aka BW Angelos and I'm going to be bringing you my first uh, miniature fleet tactic video uh, I'm saying miniature fleet tactic video because there's a few more ships in my other videos but there's still not enough to really call it a fleet, is there? So we all each have three ships each and the rules were uh, no rocket ships which frankly everyone followed so uh, this is quite a, this is quite a good game, so I decided to upload it. Right, so it's me and Knight uh, who are on the same team. We're playing as Ingl uh, Great Britain. Uh, to tell our ships apart from the other ships, you have to see they're all what these is an enemy Great Britain faction on the other side. So you have to look at the flag. If it's green or blue, it's the Allies. If it's surrounded in red, it's the enemy ship. It does get quite irritating when everyone plays as a royal man, especially in 4v4. Oh god, that's, that's even worse. That is. Anyway, right, so uh, my opponents are RCIE Gandarux and General Sir Harry Flashman Victoria Cross. Good names, eh? Anyway, um, right, uh, so what's happening here is, um, is, it, is this, uh, this is the highlight reel, by the way. It's a very, it took, naval battles take ages, so I've cut a lot of it out. Mainly all the sailing around have cut out, it's just the broadsiding one another, and I've uh, left them. So, uh, the, we there's three HMS victories and three heavy first rates, and uh, there's three eight, uh, heavy first rates uh, per player on our team as well. So basically, um, Knight's already chain shotted his sails, which is slowing him down. He's not got his sails out at all because he's sailing against the wind. But if he was uh, sailing with the wind, that would slow him down. So because he's using the um, uh, grouping tactics that the AI has, which is to group uh, three ships into a line. Uh, line astern and then sail them around. Uh, it makes the makes the overall fleet very immobile. So like what I'm doing at the moment, I've got two ships firing at the lead HMS Victory and I've got another one turning around. So overall I'm going to have three ships firing at this HMS Victory. Now even though technically it's a superior ship, it's faster, it's got a slightly better hull, uh, firing at it with three ships like this is the sure way to sink them and it's the best way to uh, win these naval battles. As you can see I got a bit lucky there and I took one of his masts off of a normal cannonball. That's what you call aiming, eh? Anyway, um, right, a little bit later on, um, Knight sailed off in the opposite direction to lure the French away while I uh, finish off the HMS victories that are here. Now, you can see, because uh, the AI isn't smart, it bunched all his ships up together, and so they just were, it's like a shooting gallery there. Then uh, he got fed up with uh, using the uh, uh, grouping tactics and split his uh, ships off into um, uh, three different, uh, you know, separately I should say. As you can see I just killed the enemy general. I w he was going to get thrown in the gallows for uh, for betraying his country like this. Uh, but uh, it was a cannonball and blew his head off so uh, frankly that's, a, that's probably the best frankly. Uh, anyway, um, uh, so basically I've managed to split one ship off very back, which I'm uh, engaging with one of my ships. Uh, the lead ship, which if you remember I was pummeling with uh, my three ships at once, is wavering now. It's the one with the mast missing, and it routes. But uh, I'm not I'm not having it running off. There's going to be no scurvy dogs left when I uh, when I finish with it. So I send a heavy first rate right after it to board it, but uh, the cowards don't let me board and surrender once I do this. Doesn't that look good? Oh, that looks looking brilliant. If you want to replay that bit, please do. Freaking awesome! It's the it, all my guns on my left side open fire in like a in like a row like that. Cool as hell. Anyway, that that forces the uh, HMS Victory to surrender. The other two have scattered now. We've got one way way back here, and one uh, further upfield, which knights turn back to attack. You might have just been able to quickly see that uh, the Frenchman is using the uh, grouping tactics as well. <laughs> may also be able to see just quickly there that two of night ships are hugging one another. Uh, pr perhaps the uh, captains were lovers, I don't know. But, <laughs> but that ends up being the downfall of the ship on the left because he can't turn and so gets um, gets uh, attacked and sunk. So anyway, uh, here uh, Knight successfully dismasted the uh, uh, HMS Victory that came too close to him and I pursued the other HMS Victory, which is now heavily listing and, and routing. Uh, off, off into night, so there's nowhere to go now. Knight uses a chain shot on him to slow him down, and then I uh, hit him. I think do I hit him? Am I going to hit him? Yes, I do hit him, and that that I think makes him surrender. There we go. He surrenders. So that's knocked two of the HMS victories out. 
the other one's basically a bathtub now. <laughs> that's as, that's, that's uh, as good as it is because it's got like uh, uh, no no uh, maneuverability left of all its master. This isn't it actually. This is uh, one of Knight's uh, uh, heavy first raids. Uh, remember the one that was hugging the other one. Now watch this. There's a reason I brought this in. Now watch the guy on the mat on the mast here. Okay, it's just there. He's minding his own business. The ship's falling over, and he thinks, "Oh, I've had enough," and just <laughs> and just does that, which is supposed to mean he dies. <laughs> but I, I I love seeing that. It's brilliant, isn't it? Okay, so we we've lost um, one ship and we've sunk three. So it's only the Frenchman who's uh, left. So uh, like you can see, you can, he's using the uh, line formation. So what I've done is I've sent one ship as a, like a target. You can see it weigh, weighing anchor uh, on the far right there. And the other two ships, I'm just going to basically send around the back and chase the enemy fleet round in a line. And then eventually, he'll turn his ships around. Because they won't have to turn one at a time once they've reached a specific waypoint. So this is mu it's much simpler to actually micromanage your ships one at a time. But uh, in this case, both players decided to use the AI. Anyway, this is, this is the correct use of chain shot. Now, you can see how, how, how his fleet turns towards me. I chain shot at his, his uh, ships with my one ship that I left behind. And my other two ships are still chasing him around in a circle, making him do this sort of like arc where he ends up going back into my own men. Damage done there. Okay, so now basically because the lead ship's taking a lot of uh, sail damage, it slows the whole fleet down, which means I can then close on the end ships and then basically start picking them off one by one and split the fleet up again, which is uh, which is the ideal tactics um, uh, you want to use. I think Nelson would have been proud of. Anyway, there's another mask on. I've taken another mask off the uh, second ship there. Uh, Knight's sort of in my way here, so I can't manoeuvre properly and I get pummeled a bit by two ships. But it doesn't matter because in the end, uh, I don't lose any. So anyway, I'm using auto fire as well because trying to, uh, trying to um, uh, aim three ships broadside is rather difficult. Right, so I always use auto fire if I'm in range like this. As you can see, the lead ship is now very slow and the sh second ship runs straight into the back of it. But the third ship split off, so seeing that, I dis I, I send uh, one of my two ships, uh, which is located here, round a long arc to get in front of this French ship and basically do the same thing I did with the other one, which is, which is to shoot all its sails off. Oh, God. Anyway, it, as you can see, the uh, second ship has decided he's had enough of crashing into the back of the first ship and is splitting off as well from the main fleet. And so now, now we can basically pick them off one at a time, like this. So this, this will now quite quickly turn into a, a massacre of the enemy ships. Right, uh, this is a little later on. I've had, like I said, I've had to edit out some of this to get it into 10 minutes. Otherwise it would have been two clips again, and no one wants to watch two clips of a naval battle, do they? They just want to watch the, the, the ship sinking and the, and the cannons fire. So anyway, like that's the ship that came at me, and I, I said I was turning round to attack him. I blew one of its masts off and forced it to surrender. So that means I can now divert my other ships back to attack uh, the last two French ships. Uh, Knights uh, successfully uh, destroyed the way well, it's still there, technically, but it won't be for much longer. In the far back, and uh, that's the first ship, uh, which we de dismasted and slowed the whole lot down. Its hull was badly weakened, and so it, it will eventually be destroyed. Now, the final French ship, has uh, given up the ghost uh, and has just stood still and let us get him in a crossfire. You can see the broadside meter showing him he's in, a, in an X. <laughs> X marks the spot basically. And he's going to get blasted from behind and in front. And now attacking a ship from the rear actually causes uh, um, the ship to route faster because it gets the uh, attack from the stern penalty, which means it will uh, route much faster. Okay, so. Basically, that'll be it once this ship routes. I hope you learned one thing from this uh, this uh, battle, and that's never ever to group ships in a line when facing uh, a human player. Never works, trust me on that, because I've played countless naval battles, and everyone has used that against me and not really won. I've not got anywhere, actually. It's too immobile. Anyway, uh, I'm glad. Um, thanks for watching, I should say, and until next time.